I never really thought about this in this sense until a friend of mine named Taki Moore. Um, and if you really want to study webinars in addition to what I'm sharing, go check out Taki Moore and his stuff, T-A-K-I-M-O-O-R-E. And um, one of the things he talks about is that you don't want to have your webinar be content, 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 flip a switch, sales pitch. And that too many people make that mistake. You want your, your, your presentation and the offer at the end to be seamless. You wanna be selling and teaching almost simultaneously the whole time through the presentation on your webinar because it, it just feels incongruent and disingenuous when you do a webinar and you just provide a ton of value for 45 minutes and then you just t flip a switch and start doing a sales pitch. Uh, and that's no matter if you're, if you are using your webinar to sell something directly, like, hey, go buy my training programs, you know, go, go join Entrepreneurs HQ, whatever it might be, or if you're using a webinar to generate appointments and leads for your team, like be thinking about how you can be seeding the offer throughout the entire presentation and it'll feel just, it'll feel so much more seamless to everybody that's there and you'll get a much better response rate um, when, you, when you do that as well. So 